Capital with news from across the Mountain State. This is West Virginia Tonight. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. It is day seven of suspended West Virginia Supreme Court Justice Alan Lawfrey's criminal trial. It is wrapped up with closing statements today, and right now a decision has yet to be made regarding Justice Lawfrey's fate. Reporter Haley Kosick is live at the federal courthouse here in Charleston with the tales. Haley? Hi, Mark. So jurors just went home for the evening and they were unable to make a unanimous decision on all 22 counts. And we heard from both closing arguments today, along with Judge Copenhaver's closing statement. Now, Assistant U.S. Attorney Greg McVeigh's closing argument asked the jury to find Lawfrey guilty for creating a false narrative. Lawfrey's attorney, John Carr, asked jurors to see the evident weaknesses in the evidence presented over the last several days and how a lot of it didn't make sense. Now, the jury is solely responsible for finding Ellen Lawfrey guilty or not guilty, and the court will recon or not reconvene, but the jury will continue deliberation tomorrow at 930 in the morning. And after a decision has been made, it's up to the court's discretion for sentencing. For right now, live in Charleston, I'm Haley Kosick for West Virginia Tonight. All right, all